we're on a, a food thing this week. Mm, tasty week. yeah the uh the portfolio is hungry and our portfolio is apparently vegan all of a sudden i have way too much plant-based anything <laughs> just full of the plant dna some fish <laughs> right right and i feel better about it honestly what that your your portfolio is healthy and i hope uh we get richer doing it if you like our content like and subscribe if you hate our content like and subscribe and leave nasty comments so we can leave respond to the comments right but leave a comment on every single video the chef <laughs> is back and remember we were talking about it it's in a downward trend and at some point we said if it's above like 24 bucks and i thought it was going to wait a little bit longer i didn't think it would go up today that it'll come down yeah I thought it would come down a little bit more and I would actually be no. able to grab some more at 21. Yeah, I was greedy. Let me put it this way. But I'm in the play. So greed no, didn't wait, work out not, here. That's not greedy. You were, you were optimistic. You were overly optimistic, optimistic thinking that thinking that half the market cap <laughs> is going to come out in the next two days. Let right, us buy right. in. There it is clear in the chart. This thing it wants is, to go up. You know, if it holds then we are going up, but it could still ride this channel a little bit down yeah. before exploding. Yeah. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. I wouldn't once again, dump $50 million into tattooed Jeff, which yeah. I don't have, but I wouldn't do that. Uh, I would still monitor what happens. And, you know, obviously if you're not in the play, then do you buy it? You know, once again, do you, it's a good company. I would buy it, right? If I wasn't in the play. Am I buying more today? Hell no. <laughs> like, I'm not doing that. I really got my position, you know? Yeah. Um, so it looks like it's going up. It looks like what we're talking about, it might be still, let's say, following down at some point. I don't think you're going to be able to catch it, especially if the market stays bullish. And we'll see if that happens. One thing we should we should just clarify is the definition of position, right? When we say, I got my position already, right? Yeah. What does that Go mean? Um, sometimes it could mean that you got a certain share count that you want, or sometimes it can mean you have a certain amount of money. The point is, when you look at a stock like this, you look at the price point, you think about the profits that you wanna make, or you think about the percentage that you wanna make, you think about where it's going and you make an assessment. So what is your position for something like Tattooed Chef? It could be 100 shares. You could say, I want 100 shares, so every dollar that this thing moves is $100 in my pocket. Next tier up, you could say 500 shares or 1,000 shares. I was looking at, um, there's actually a good options chain on this one. This is what I'm going to start optioning. And this is also a really good price. Oh, nice. Um, this is going to be my, look at the short interest on that, 25%. That's a lot of, that's, that's a big short interest. A quarter of the that shares means, are shorted. Guys, what that's telling you is that a quarter of the shares of this company are are people buying it thinking it's going to fail. And you saw how that worked out for the Tesla shorts last year in the middle <laughs> yeah. of a bull market. Just don't, don't do it. We, Vitaly um, and I stopped, you know, we still, we still are upset about our square. I, I, I'm still, I'm still butt hurt from a square short. <laughs> I, I shorted Lyft. Like, we were just, we were just going, going rogue uh, last year. That's the danger. When people say they lost a lot of money in the stock market, it's not because markets are crazy. It's because you do stupid things. This is a high flyer and people think it is being overvalued. Let's, let's be honest. Their market cap is going up. And it's their sales, they have not released their quarterly to say it's supposed to be going up like right now. Do you know what I mean? So right now it's just last, traders trading. Last, what were their last sales? Can you even click on growth? December 2018, 47.3 million. December 2019, 84.9 million. Now it's estimated, there's an estimate here at a one, 135 million. And I think they're projecting they're even growing further. So once again, some are projections, what's true, what's not, but if they are actually growing like basically 50% to 100% compounded, if you look at their investor deck, it was a lot. They look were at the gross fast. profit. Look at the jump from three yeah. to 13 to 20. They're not firing on all cylinders. The way I understand it, they are only in frozen foods right now, but they have like ready to eat. And they haven't released any information about what you're saying, which is important. They're going to grow massively and we're covering it in the charts as well, how you can make money today. Isn't that important, right? As opposed to 10 years from now. Look at December 2016, losing 6.3 million. So you'd be like, I'm not investing in this company. December 2017, oh, it made 200,000, big deal. 17.6 million, 100 million, 138 million. Like Beyond Meat is also growing. And this is what sort of seems like it's happening with Tattoo Chef, they're expanding pretty fast. I had an impossible burger with some of the Beyond Meat. You cannot tell the difference. People don't eat plant-based food because they are opposed to it. People don't eat it because they don't like the taste. These companies have figured it out. Yeah, and now they're it's, making- It's delicious. It's delicious. You wouldn't know the difference. Look at their balance sheets, okay? Total cash, cash equivalents. They've been 
Well, it says it's it's a little lower, probably because they're expanding, but they have money in the bank. These guys are not losing, uh, they're not going bankrupt tomorrow. Let me put it this way. So I don't know what their run rate is. We, I guess we can look that up. Uh, can look that up. But also, I mean, that, you know. Long-term uh, assets. Look, look, long-term assets, 43.9 million. Uh, liabilities, 30 million. So the liabilities are less than the total assets, which is good to see. Yeah. Their last report, uh, that was the, it's 58 million though. 58 right. million of debt. Uh, this is estimated, I believe. The last column is, uh, or it's, it's oh, no, report. actually it's reported. Yeah, it's reported. It's last report, yeah. Keep in mind, the accounts receivable of the orders that they're getting in, um, as they get more efficient, they can increase their profit margin on the same amount of orders. So yeah. it could be, it, the, the number of orders doesn't necessarily have to increase, doesn't have to skyrocket for them to make more money if they get more, if they get more profitable. This is Tesla's plan, the whole, this is- the, Right, you know, lower the cost of, of food production, right. Lo, yeah, yes. lower the cost for them, of it, get for more them. efficient for them, and then they can either pass the savings on to you or enjoy higher profit margins. Tattooed Chef has expanded its product range with meat alternatives, offering an innovative and clean ingredient approach on plant protein with the taste and texture of real meat. The company yeah. expects and to launch three additional items featuring meat alternatives in the club channel. When, okay, when they say club channel, is it like Sam's Club where you pay? How, how does that work? Do you pay? Oh, maybe that's the club channel. I think you're right. Uh, yes, you're right. You're right. I'm you, sorry. You, you, you're you right. Pay to, you pay to get a discount or something, right? Well, no. Uh, and yeah, so we, we're part of Costco. I have a Costco membership. So exactly. Okay, that's what I it pay. Is. Right, I pay for Costco. 100 bucks a year or something for the, all the discounts and right. Okay, so they're expecting to launch three new items into, I guess this is Sam's Club. That's what Sam's Club is, it looks like. In terms of Tattooed Chef, this is a new brand that they're pushing hard. They're gonna do all these things this year, like get the actual name recognition out there. So we're not even at that stage. We are at the stage before he does all those things. So either you right. believe this the story, the Oh, you don't. Right. Like, <laughs> if you believe it, buy the damn stock. Tattoo Chef's third quarter report was the best quarter in the company's history. The company's total revenue increased by 65% year over year to 41 million. Brand sales hit a record 22.6 million with sales increasing 288% over year. This is the third quarter in a row that branded products outperform private label sales. We anticipate that we will continue to drive revenue growth based on continued success with our key club partners, expansion with new and existing retail customers, and our e-commerce website for direct-to-sale and consumers, said CEO Sam Galetti. The company's e-commerce website went live three weeks ago. So this is a company whose own website went live three in October, which yeah. can see significant revenue growth in the coming quarters. Next uh, Tattooed Chef earnings call will account for their online shopping growth stream. If the results of their e-com business are better than expected, this can push the stock to new all-time highs. They actually have net income, first of all, which is good. They, a well, lot they, of companies are losing money, by the way. They have net income. As they so, grow, yeah. A lot of companies lose money as they grow. They're profitable, by the way. So we didn't cover this, but they are profitable. They are actually putting money in their pockets <laughs> right, as opposed to every other company we bought, which is losing money. <laughs>